Hi everyone, welcome to another UBI tutorial video. Uh, in this video, we are going to fine tune a machine learning model on our custom data set and then use the model to auto label our data. Uh, we will then review the model's predictions and it will correct them if needed. Uh, this feature known as model assisted labeling uh, will actually save us a lot of annotation time uh, and in some cases can save up to 80% of annotation time. So uh, let's get started. Uh, for this tutorial, we're going to use a data set of job descriptions. So we have uh, four tags. We have skills, uh, experience, uh, diploma, and diploma major. Uh, so I already have annotated about 127 documents. Uh, as you can see, I annotated uh, years of experience, skills, mentions, and diploma majors. Uh, as you notice, there are also relations uh, in my annotations. However, for this demo, we are not going to train a relation instruction model. Uh, so we're going to just focus on named entity recognition. So to train a model, you will uh, go to the models menu here, press on that, and then uh, you can add new model. Uh, so I already have added a model for this. Uh, so this model is has initialized but has not been trained. Uh, so to train the model, uh, I simply press on this train model, and then I select the project which I would like to train the model on. So my project name is called Job Descriptions uh, and then uh, a pop-up will uh, open and then um, it will ask you to select what type of model you would like to train. So UBI supports a spacey model and also uh, a BERT model, a transformer model. Uh, so for this um, demo, we're going to just use a spacey model. Uh, so when you choose a spacey, you can actually uh, train a blank model from scratch or use uh, a pre-trained model. This is generic spacey pre-trained model. So for this demo, we're just gonna uh, stick with the blank model. So after you choose your model, uh, you have the option to select the training and validation ratio. Uh, so we're gonna use 80-20 in this case. Uh, and also uh, it will, you have the option to uh, specify the number of uh, iterations for your uh, model. Uh, so let's just say we are going to use uh, 10 iterations. Uh, the dropout, we're going to keep it by default, uh, 0.35 here. And the batch size, we're going to also keep it by default. Uh, just keep in mind, you also have the option to train the model using an API. Uh, we're not going to cover this in this demo, so we're going to do everything using the, the console, the interface. So once we are uh, configured our model, we can just uh, simply press run to start training the model. So now uh, the model is, uh, the data set is getting prepared and the model is going to start training on your uh, data set. Uh, so we'll let this go and we'll come back in um, after the training is done. So our model uh, finished training uh, and as you can see here we have the uh, F score, the precision and recall uh, scores. Um, you can actually dig deeper and uh, explore what uh, scores per entity your model has produced. So you simply click on uh, the model and then you will see uh, this entity details icon. You click on this icon and this will give you the score, the precision recall and F score for each entity that you have trained on. So as you can see here for the skill, uh, we have 0.52 F score for the experience with 0.79, for the diploma 0.82. So this gives you a granularity to understand more what's the, what are the weakness and the strength of your model in which entity. Uh, so now let's go back to uh, our model here uh, and let's use it now to auto-label our data. Uh, so let's go back to our initial project, uh, which was called job description. And here we, th this is the training data set that I have used. So let's go ahead and upload a new data set that was not part of the training data set and test the model on that. So let's go back to uh, the document. Let's upload a few documents here. Uh, we're gonna choose uh, a CSV file that has job descriptions. Uh, let me open that quickly. And we upload. Uh, so we're going to remove duplicates, no need for any duplicates, and press upload. So now we have uploaded about 29 documents. These are unlabeled documents. And uh, we're going to use our model to suggest or uh, auto-label the data for us. Uh, so uh, to do that, uh, if, you, uh, if you go to the models menu here, 
you will see that the model that we have trained is actually available in this project. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, select the model uh, that we have just trained. Uh, so the score is not great, it's about uh, uh, 0.56. Uh, but let's try it out and see if it gives us good enough results. Uh, so let's go back to the annotation interface. Uh, and here you'll see that there is a button uh, called predict. Uh, and this here, when you click on it, is going to uh, use whatever model that has been uh, selected in your models menu and use it to basically predict or extract entities uh, or could be a relation if you train the relation model uh, from, your, uh, from your text. So let's go ahead and press predict here. So now it's calling the model and the model uh, basically labeled all this data for us without us doing any uh, extra effort or any manual annotation. So this shows how quick uh, and fast the model auto label can be. Uh, it can save us a lot of time uh, in some cases. So here uh, the model was able to uh, predict accurately the years of experience, the skills, the diploma, the diploma major. Um, so yeah, it looks like there's not, no correction that, that needs to be done here. So we can go to the next uh, text. Uh, let's check these are not the same. So these are not the same document. We can press predict again and then uh, use the model to auto label the data for us. Uh, and yes, so it worked with no issues. So if you would like to auto label the data uh, automatically, uh, instead of doing it manually, like I showed you uh, at the document level, you can actually do a batch processing or batch auto labeling. So to do that, just go, uh, you can just go to the models menu here and then press on this annotate project. So you uh, press on that and then you select the project that you would like to auto label. So let's go back to the, our job description. So here the model will uh, auto label the data that is not validated. So anything that's in progress and has not been validated will be auto labeled using the, uh, the models that we have trained. So uh, now I select the model and then I press run. And now the model is gonna auto label all my data uh, automatically. So uh, here, as you can see, it's already done, it's very quick. So I'm gonna go back to my project and see what type of uh, labeling that has been done. Uh, these two we labeled together. Uh, so let's check the other uh, ones. So it uh, auto labeled this uh, document correctly. Uh, this one uh, looks like it missed uh, the bachelor here uh, and this is where the human intervention is important. So now we correct uh, or we complete uh, the model auto label. So we select diploma here for example and then select this one. Here. And then once you're done you make sure to press validate. So uh, that's it for this demo. I hope uh, you had a good uh, overview of our uh, model auto labeling feature. Uh, we also support not just name entity recognition auto labeling, but also relation extraction uh, auto labeling as well. And in the near future, we are going to add uh, OCR, anything that is semi-structured text auto labeling as well, such as invoices or receipts. So stay, stay tuned for that. We'll uh, definitely send you an email about it. So I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, see you in the next one.